this code sample use the Facebook JavaScript SDK. Note that when calling the init function, the XFBML attribute get the value false, meaning that XFBML code won't be parsed automatically. Here you can find two div sections. In each one of them, you can find FBML code as the content. Now, if you take a look at this code, calling the fb.xfbml.parse is a way for us to parse specific XFBML code in a specific div section or in a specific other um, uh, document object model component. In this case, you can see that we call the parse function and pass over a reference to the object that represents uh, this div element, meaning only this, the first div element, will be parsed. The other one won't, which, which means that here we shall see the like button and here we won't. The text on top is the outcome of a function being invoked when the parse takes place. In this code sample the function is the update function and the update function just place this text over here.